you may recall last year the announcement of these weird Copilot laptops. Deep integration with Microsoft Copilot, some fun built-in spyware that was rightfully very, very heavily criticised. Now, I thought these devices were stupid. I have absolutely no idea why anybody would buy them. But they do exist, and considering that the line hasn't been cancelled, clearly somebody is buying them. Probably businesses, probably some random interested people, but I don't get it. Now, that's all fine. If people want to buy stupid things, they can buy stupid things. But these devices had a little bit of a problem. Let's say that you grabbed one of these devices, whether it be new, whether it be secondhand, and then sometime down the line, you want to install Linux on it. Well, do you remember how these devices had a dedicated co-pilot key? Forget all the whole AI integration stuff, they had a co-pilot key on the keyboard. Well, if you have Linux installed, that key just didn't do anything. That key, if you pressed it in something like XEV, would not do anything. Trying to bind it in an application like OBS is not going to work. But not for the reason that you might expect. Not because it was using some weird new key code that Linux didn't know what to do with. Now, being a logical and rational entity, you might think, okay, this is a new key, therefore, it's going to be assigned a new key code. Stop doing that. Stop being logical. Stop being rational. We are dealing with Microsoft here. That's not the way it works. This is not the first time that Microsoft has added weird and arbitrary keys to the keyboard. You may remember, Microsoft has dedicated Office and Emoji keys on its new keyboard. The Office key being the most important here, because this led to some really weird bindings, like Control, Shift, Alt, Windows, L to open LinkedIn. That's not a joke. That's something that actually happened. And not just that. Word, Teams, Yammer, Outlook, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Excel, and OneNote. I don't know if this is a complete list. It's possible there are others. The reason why it could work like this is because the Office key didn't get a dedicated key code. The Office key was a four key macro modifier. So when you press the office key, it's like you are pressing control, shift, alt, and windows at the same time. The reason why it's like this is there's nothing else in your system that was going to bind to a binding with four modifier keys. So it's pretty safe to just go and use that and they didn't have to go and invent a new modifier and handle the code for that. They could just treat the key the same way as pressing those four keys together. So, with that level of Microsoft engineering and Microsoft ingenuity, would you be surprised to know they're doing the exact same thing once again? But this time, the Copilot key isn't a modifier key itself. The Copilot key is just a macro key. But do you know what the macro is bound to? That's right. Left shift plus Windows plus F23. Now, if you look at your keyboard, you probably notice the distinct lack of F keys above F12. However, there are keyboards out there that do have more than 12 F keys. The IBM Model M being a notable example, this having 24 F keys. Now, here's the fun part. Firstly, I don't know why it's bound to F23 and not F24. Keep in mind, there's 24 F keys. There's another spot they could have moved it to, 
Why is it not on the last one? I cannot imagine there is anything else bound on left shift windows F23. I can't find any information about that being the case, so I'm just going to have to assume that I, Microsoft engineers doing Microsoft engineer things. Also, why is it left shift Windows key F23? Was Windows key F23 taken? Apparently. I can't find any information of things that might be using it. I can find people that are like binding it with auto hotkey scripts and things like that. But at the level of the operating system, I don't know of anything that's using that binding. I will never understand the whims of the Microsoft engineers. If this is the way they want to handle it, I don't know why they've done it like this, but this is the way they've done it. But okay. If this is the way it is bound, shift windows F23, or if you want to be more generic, shift super F23, why doesn't that work on Linux? Or better yet, why didn't it work on Linux and it does now? Well, nobody really thought that Microsoft would go about handling the key in this way because why, why would you do it like that? Anyway. Just the other day, there was a kernel patch addressing this problem. Input ATKBD map F20 key to support default copilot shortcut. This is a patch from Lenovo developer Mark Pearson. Microsoft defined MetaShift F23 as the copilot shortcut instead of a dedicated key code. I kind of got it with the modifier macro for the office key. You don't want to deal with a new modifier key. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's going to be used in combination with other things. I get it. But the singular function of this key is to run copilot. Like that that's that's the point of the key. It's kind of like the AI button that was on some of those, I guess one one logitech mouse and they advertised it as the ai mouse it literally just had one of its macro buttons with an ai logo on it and that's that's like literally that that's actually what it was like i'm not even joking i'm gonna show a picture on the screen right now like that that's actually what the mouse was it would have made a lot more sense if it just had a dedicated key code and multiple vendors have their keyboards emit this sequence in response to users pressing a dedicated copilot key you know what I guess having a weird binding is better than different vendors doing different key codes and then wiring things up on their own install of Windows and having it all be this weird, different approach to it. If they're all going to do a weird thing of meta shift F23, at least they're all consistently stupid. But here's where we get into the problem. Unfortunately, the default key map table in ATKBD does not map scan code 0x6e f23, and so the key combination does not work even if user space software is ready to handle it. So the kernel does not know how to handle f23, even if there is software like OBS or Blender that might actually support using that binding. Or let's say, for example, you wanted to bind it in KDE. You wanted to use it as uh, the thing to open up your terminal. That just wouldn't work because it doesn't work at the kernel level. Because this behavior is common between multiple vendors and the scan code is currently unused, map 0x6e to key code 193 key F23 so the key sequence is generated properly. Microsoft documentation for the scan code is right here, confirmed on Lenovo, HP, and Dell machines by Canonical, tested on the Lenovo T14X G6 AMD. This is Lenovo's co-pilot laptop that has their arm um, magical nonsense. The co-pilot laptops are still weird, even if it's nice that this key works. They're still weird laptops. And you know what? I really don't like this idea of, hey, there's this like weird new feature that we want to do. So let's add a key to the keyboard, but not 
add a key. Let's remove a key that was there and put this key there instead. Usually what is done is if the keyboard was going to have a function key, then the weird Microsoft key is put in its place. Whether that's the office key, whether that's the copilot key, or whatever key they want to do sometime down the future, because there's going to be laptops soon that aren't going to have the copilot key, but have some other weird new key they want to do. Whether it's going to be like, oh, Microsoft is now doing integration with Xbox, and you click the Xbox button, and it opens up Xbox Cloud Gaming or Game Pass or whatever other thing they want to do. Stop adding keys to the keyboard for random things you want to advertise. Just make it a function in the computer and tell people how to get to it. This is a change that's coming in with the 6.14 kernel. So if you're on something like Arch or Gentoo and you want to go and install Arch or Gentoo on one of these machines, hey, be my guest. It's not out just yet, but it's going to be out relatively soon. If you wanted to do something like an Ubuntu or something like that, it's going to take a little bit longer. But hey, at some point, you can use this weird key. And it's basically just a macro key. It's a weird macro key. And maybe some software is not going to know what to do with it. But it's a macro key. So let me know. Do you have one of these laptops? If you do, why? Why? Just... Just why? If you happen to get one second hand though, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 neat. Go use your weird weird macro key, I guess. Anyway, if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out Patreon Scribes Libero Pay link in the description down below. That's gonna be it for me, and can I be your co-pilot.